Hey, thanks again for joining us here at TP Talk. Today we will briefly discuss the effects of caffeine on your mind and body. Did you know that some fruits and plant leaves produce caffeine naturally? You can almost find it in coffee, black and green tea, cocoa, energy and soft drinks. Other places you may find it is in chocolate bars, energy bars, and possibly in non-prescription medications like cough syrup. The active ingredient in energy drinks is guarana, which also is a natural compound. Caffeine is simply a stimulant which has two major effects on the body. One, it can give you fast acting energy short term, or two, it can turn your day completely upside down. Caffeine affects the central nervous system, heart, blood vessels, adrenal glands, thyroid gland, kidneys, and a lot of neurotransmitters and hormones. Suffice to say that this should be enough for you to consider next time you decide to pick up a Timmy's or a comfort food, like a chocolate bar. Caffeine is also designed to affect your thinking process. Ever wonder why you can only hold a thought for no less than 30 seconds? Well, yep. Caffeine will load your brain with a million thoughts a second. Please refer to our video titled Distractions for more info. Pain is a major association with caffeine. My wife and I have been living with pain for the better part of our lives, having heart palpitations and chronic mood swings for myself, while my wife has recently discovered that her chronic fibromyalgia has now been linked also to caffeine use. Duh, now it all makes sense. It seems now that some doctors are growing a pair and demanding inquiries into the use and effects of caffeine on the general public. And we wonder why all these people, or even our kids, are so addicted to caffeine. It seems to be a vicious cycle and it has to stop with you. I can honestly say that I wish I had paid more attention to this stuff 20 years ago instead of partying away my years. It's nice to see doctors finally doing what they swore an oath to do in the first place and that was to do no harm to the patient. Yet, we still have a majority of them willing to accept a high paycheck in return for keeping their opinions to themselves. Anyways, caffeine can certainly damage your nervous system, and I wonder why I had the shakes in my hands all the time. Caffeine goes to work by depleting your vitamin B counts, which maintain your nervous system. The more caffeine you drink, you can experience tingling and some numbness in your head, arms, and legs. Sounds fun, doesn't it? Next, I want to show you a ridiculous research topic that shows how someone or persons made the decision that it was okay for people to ingest this toxin. First off, I would like to know who are these people who gave them the authority over the rest of the population? Do they consume caffeine themselves? Is there an agenda for the betterment of mankind or the destruction of it? Destruction, I think, as if they were really concerned about the people, they wouldn't have this acceptable dose of caffeine for the general population article. So, as you can clearly see, caffeine isn't good for your body and can really mess you up long term if you are not already messed up. My wife recently quit caffeine and coffee, which she will now give a short explanation of what happened after stopping caffeine and then having an energy drink and the effects she went through. I had stopped a few months ago because I wanted to work on my chi energy and, and for spiritual practices. I recently had an energy drink which contained caffeine. Later that day I started to experience pain in all different areas of my body. I was also feeling anxiety and small shakes. The following days after, I felt very tired and drained with all the symptoms mentioned for days. Now feeling back to normal, and I haven't had it for four days, I came to the realization that caffeine plays a major role in our body and mind's destruction, which also affects the soul's growth. I find it's just not worth it. So, as we can see, there is enough mounting evidence showing that caffeine is a stimulant of the nervous system to the highest degree. But yet, we have a coffee with a smoke every morning as our daily routine, not realizing that again, through someone else's stupid idea, we are now poisoning ourselves willingly double the amount because it's a nice morning ritual. I love coffee and smokes, 
Coffee I quit for a while and started again in low doses. And quitting smoking, well, that's still a challenge, but we all have to start somewhere, right? Here is a list of negative effects caffeine has on the body. Only 18 listed? Hmm, might as well go see a doctor and get a prescription because it almost resembles a pill bottle's side effect labels. Negative side effects caffeine can cause are insomnia, nervousness, restlessness, stomach irritation, nausea and vomiting, increased heart rate and respiration, raises stress levels, mood swings, depression, muscle weakness, raised blood pressure, anxiety, headaches, chronic pain, dehydration, trembling hands. And that's just a small list. There are many more. So with all that being said, think twice about consuming caffeine or having a coffee or having a chocolate bar or any of these other things that, you know, will reduce your level of life and your enjoyment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and hope to see you soon.